Hurricane Michael made landfall just two miles an hour under a Category 5 hurricane. Only a few storms came into American cities stronger than that. Channel Line's Lauren Seabrook and meteorologist George Waldenberger are taking a closer look at how this historic storm compares to others. And Lauren, it is high on the list. Yeah, Greg, only three Category 5 hurricanes have ever hit the continental U.S. And Hurricane Katrina is not one of them. George, Hurricane Katrina actually made landfall at a Category 3. That might surprise some people. Yeah, with winds at 125 miles miles per hour. That means Michael was actually stronger than Katrina when they were both making landfall. We all know Katrina caused extensive damage, but the full damage of Michael is still yet to be seen. As the storm rages, it's already making its mark on history. Hurricane Michael will go down as one of the strongest to ever make landfall in the continental U.S. Before we named storms, a Category 5 hurricane that hit the Florida Keys on Labor Day 1935 had the fastest winds, topping 185 miles an hour. The second worst, Hurricane Camille, hit far western Mississippi in 1969 as a Cat 5. And the third still remains fresh in many Floridians' minds, Hurricane Andrew in 1992. It tore through Homestead also as a Category 5, with winds peaking at 165 miles an hour. And now Hurricane Michael will go down as the fourth strongest to ever hit the U.S. mainland. With sustained winds of 155 miles an hour, just two digits shy of a Cat 5. The wind speed of Michael passes Hurricane Opal, which was previously one of the strongest to hit the panhandle. Opal made landfall near Pensacola as a Category 3 in 1995. Still, nine people died and the damage cost more than $4.7 billion. And this storm still moving through is more powerful than Hurricane Irma when it slammed into the Keys last year with winds of 130 miles an hour. Michael's sustained winds are three times stronger than what we felt during Hurricane Irma here in Central Florida. Now, George, we've been talking about the extensive damage and all the recovery in Puerto Rico over the last year. How does Hurricane Maria compare to Hurricane Michael? Well, Hurricane Maria made landfall over southwestern Puerto Rico with winds at 155 miles per hour. That's a strong Cat 4 and the exact same intensity as Michael made landfall with today. Now, the difference, though, was that Maria's eye was bigger, and when that happens, you can have more widespread damage. Now, coming up live at 545, we'll talk more about some of the differences between Hurricane Michael and Hurricane Katrina.